For those looking for a sperm donor, make sure you know the history. The CDC issued a warning that more people in three southeast Florida counties may have been exposed to the Zika virus. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is joining us now live with more on people what they may want to do to take some precautions. Dwayne. Well, Haley, the CDC and the Florida Department of Health consider this to be an extremely serious issue. They're warning anyone from Palm Beach, Broward, or Miami-Dade counties to consider themselves at risk of the Zika virus. This also goes for women who want to use a sperm donation from a donor. They're advised to consult a doctor before doing so. For one Florida resident, he was aware of the warning issued for men and women in Southeast Florida. Go where you need to go, go to your clinics, get, get it checked out if you can, be safe, don't just jump to the first donor. The CDC is warning men from three Florida counties not to donate sperm because of a small risk of spreading the Zika virus. Also saying the increased risk of the virus can be attributed to evidence that Zika can persist in semen longer than in any other body fluid. The Zika virus can remain in the sperm for up in the, in the semen for up to three months following infection. And infections can be sometimes mild enough that the person who had the virus didn't know they had it. There is no evidence of anyone pregnant being infected by Zika through sperm donation. As such, risk is considered low. But Chief Medical Officer for the Community AIDS Network, Dr. Stephen Nicholas, says it's still important to take precautions on the Sun Coast as well. I would still be cautious of uh, using sperm from sperm banks in the area here, particularly if we think the donor had lived in or had traveled to those areas. Such as areas in Central and South America, where the CDC has reported an active transmission of the virus. The Florida Department of Health estimates that 279 people acquired the virus in the state last year, most of them in Miami. Since we live in Florida and we travel frequently throughout our state, uh, I think people just have to take a note of caution to those high-risk areas. Well, Haley, keep in mind that with winter season coming to a close and mosquito season coming right around the corner, health officials will monitor this virus very closely. Reporting live in Sarasota, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News.